What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here bringing you another new series, this time it is a player career in FIFA and we are starting off with our team, the Wellington Phoenix. Um, now I've gone obviously made myself a central defensive midfielder as I was on the World Cup, uh, I guess road to World Cup, the, the road to Brazil that I did on the 2014 World Cup game. Um, so same position as that. Um, even though I am playing as a defensive midfielder, you will see uh, as, well, you didn't get to see a chance there, but I do like to go and get forward. I've made myself the box-to-box -box midfielder, which means that they're going to be doing a lot of running, a lot of fitness work going to go into that, and hopefully we can go and make it happen with, uh, as you can see there. I thought I was 19. I don't know. Not sure, but... Hopefully we can go and make it happen, make it big. I've made myself, I was humming and harring between whether to be uh, German nationality or New Zealand nationality. In the end I went for German, uh, being part German and everything. I thought I'd have a better chance of going and winning the World Cup, winning games with the German national team rather than the New Zealand national team. I remember I was New Zealand and won and it, it, it wasn't pretty. It was not pretty. Play that into the middle. Oh, that's a great pass. Oh, should have got it back. Should have got it back. But it's quite nice um, to just go and mix it up. I got quite a few people, I actually got their opinions on whether they wanted me to do a player career or a team career. Um, now do keep in mind, a team career mode will be coming. I'm going to be bringing back uh, those who remember from my old channel, Journey to the Summit with South End United. I've already gone, um, changed their stadium today and just had a wee look. We played through as in last night in an exhibition game and things, uh, you know, they were looking pretty good. So... I'm looking forward to doing that. That's going to be coming out probably, I'd say, in the next couple of weeks. I've just taken the ball off my teammate there. We'll give it back to him. Got to keep those passes up. Oh, cut back. What's shooting like in this game? It's come straight off my own player. Is that Riera getting in the way? Not sure. There's Jeremy Brocky. Looks nothing like Jeremy Brocky. It was him that it came off, actually. I remember Brocky scored his... Um, his debut international goal not too long ago, and which is surprising for a player of him because, I mean, he's been one of those players, now he's at the Phoenix, he is a bit more settled, but he's one of those players who just never really settled into a club. Like, I was looking through um, his Wikipedia page uh, with my mate sometime. We always used to go through and look at players who have played for heaps of clubs, um, and he was one of them, you know. He just never really settled down anywhere, and I think when he joined the Phoenix, a lot of people said, was this going to be the club that he's going to settle down at? Huge opportunity there, but he's missed. He's missed. We win the header. Oh, Brocky. Oh, no. I just can't get shots on target. I need to hit it earlier. I'm not too sure who I'm playing here today. It's some French team. Some French um, Div 2 team. I'm not not entirely sure who it is. I think the name was Laval. Stay... Stad la de, de bar something. I don't know. I can't quite remember. Didn't really pay too much attention who we're playing against. Just making sure that we got the starting role. Playing in the CDM position as well, um, which I have actually got quite far forward, which... You know, it's not strange. It's not unusual for me, obviously. I do like to go and get forward playing in that CDM role. But obviously, at the end of the day, we are there for our defensive qualities. And we don't want to go and let those down because that would be a big shame. Oh, here we go. I'm getting a lot of ball on the edge of the box. Has another hit. That one's high and wide. Shooting in this game is hard. Like, even on Ultimate Team, I go, and there's, there's times where... You're like one on one with the keeper, or you're at the edge of the box, and you're just so like I'm so used to uh, 14 shooting, I guess, and you're just like, oh yeah, that's in, and it just goes wide. I guess the camera angles, they've used the camera angles well in this. The camera angles uh, give you a bit of a false sense of security, I guess you would say. Um, you know, it goes and it's like, oh yeah, that's that's in, and at the end of the day, boom, nothing there. So. My rating actually isn't going up too much. I thought I've had a pretty decent half, but the positioning's been pretty good. Here we go. Let's go on another run. I get downgraded for going on a run. How bad is that? Oh, get tackled. Wins back the ball. Lays it off. Lays it off to his teammate. I think that's Riera. 
What a journey that guy's made, hasn't he? He started off like I'm pretty sure at the start of last season. He's almost like a uh, an amateur footballer, I guess. I think he was playing. I don't even know if he was playing for Auckland City. I think he was just playing for some Auckland club team, and then now he's like playing for the Phoenix, and he made the All Star team as well, the A League All Star team to play Juventus. Um, I think it was about a month ago, maybe. So I mean, what a journey that guy's gone on. He has been on. Oh no! See like that shooting. So hard! <laughs> I just have nothing. I'm just I'm nowhere near. I've done all laces shots this game. I might try a finesse maybe next time if I get uh, far enough forward. But as you can see, obviously, well, I am playing as the defensive midfielder, but still getting very far forward. That's the third shot um, that we've had in this half. So um, definitely looking at going and getting forward and helping out the attackers as well as getting back on defense as well. Is this going to be our fourth chance? Oh, another block. Oh, yes. Give me the ball. Oh, yes. Shot on target. Straight at the keeper. But that is our first shot on target. And we've been all over these guys in the first half. Seven shots to none, as you saw on the graphic there. And we go into half time definitely on top. But that is a nice looking kit. Um, they have their Melbourne Victory and Perth Glory playing today as well. It's real weird, the pre-season fixtures that they have in this game. Who's this coming on? I think I saw this guy on the weekend, actually. Well, I didn't see him, but yeah, Boca... I can't say his name. I think he... I'm not too sure what he is, actually. And I think I may have changed position as well, maybe. I think I may have been shifted up into a more... A more... Not forward role, um, but not playing as that as that holding midfielder. Maybe they've moved Riera back there, but... I'm not too sure where that guy's from, but he's one of our international players. Oh, my God. See, look at that. I just can't get anything on target. I don't know whether it's just me or it's my player or what it is, but that's like a guilt edge opportunity, and we should be putting that into the back of the net. Oh, but things are looking good. 8.4 now we're up to. And obviously you want to go and get those ratings up high. So when I was starting, I was I was considering who to start with. And I didn't really want to go with one of, I guess, those big European teams or big South American teams, I guess. I thought I'd go make it uh, realistic-ish, starting off at home, you know, with a, a home a homegrown team. I was tempted to go for Melbourne City, but then I realised that their starting eleven is freaking good. So decided against that pretty quickly. I mean I had a look at their starting eleven. I think they're the only three star team in the A League uh this season. I think yeah, like most are two, there are two and a half. I think Perth Glory maybe one and a half. But they are three, so I mean they should, with the team they have on paper, they should be pretty dominant. And as you can see, Tyler, Tyler Boyd coming off, I think, yes, for Kenny Cunningham. He's another good player, that guy. Um, I'm just trying to think where he's from. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Damn. Tried to go on that amazing dribble. Look at that, seven shots. Four of them on target, and we've won a corner. Can we make something here? We've got to make something of our, um... Oh! Oh, keeper! Oh, Cunningham's down. Is he injured? Yeah, he's injured. That's that's unfortunate. He's just come on and he's injured. He's done something to his shoulder. Hit that. Oh. What are we trying to do, Arsenal FC? Are we trying to walk it in? Oh. Yes! He's got it! Finally! The fifth shot on target leads to the first goal, and Cliffy scores on debut. It is only a preseason game, but yes, it is a goal nonetheless. And we finally got one, tucked it in to the corner, and look at that there. High fives all around from the boys. That's what I'm talking about. Finish that off, son. I don't really want to watch the replay. One goal in friendly. And that is our first goal for the club. First goal! in career and now the coach has said to play back more defensively so but defense is not in our nature we're a cdm who's been getting up look at that look at the the work rate he's playing cdm and he's the second second player up there you'd think he's playing in as, as a cam but no playing as a cdm probably need to get back now want to keep that rating up that rating's nice and high now up at 9.4 if we can keep that above nine that would be impressive. A great way to start our, I was going to say international career, but it's not an international. This is just, this isn't even a club game. It's just a friendly game. 
Oh, see, look at that. Look at that pressure. That high press. Oh, here we go. On the counter-attack. McGlinchey. I'm offside, but just keep going, son. Lay it back if you need. Oh, overhit it. McGlinchey. It's not what we needed there, son. We needed a good ball. A good ball to feet, and we could have made, uh, made it count, but... Oh, unlucky. Unlucky, whoever that was. It's... It's hard to tell because this is, I guess, a, a bit more of a, not a second string Phoenix side, but it is a weaker Phoenix side. Obviously, there's um, that guy who came off the bench whose name starts with B, who I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Manny Musket as well, missing Vince Lear, but I think, uh, much like this season, he's going to be on the bench for a fair bit of it. Oh, get that away. Oh, no, you idiot. I was, get, I was getting ready to break away on the counter-attack. What am I doing? I should be in the box defending. Instead, I'm up front trying to get the goals. And we've pulled up with cramp. This game has had everything. We've had missed chances. We've now got an injury. And we can't do much. We're pretty lethargic at the moment. What, well, actually, we're very lethargic. We can't even move. There we go. We're back in now. Get that away. Get that away. I'm just I'm jogging it off. What a champion. Jogging off the injury like it wasn't even there. Probably don't want to run too quick because I'll just go and do it again. It looked like a hammy. Oh, beautiful. Here we go. Counter attack. He's just he's just pulled up injured before and he's going and just making a big run downfield. Oh. Got that ball through, but just could not quite get it there. I'm guessing we're going to pick up the man of the match. 9.5, that is an impressive way, as I said, to start international, not international, domestic football. Friendly football. Yep, lay it off. Have I got a left foot? No, nah, again, that's either gone wide or it's gone straight into the player, but I think that is full time. Is it full time? Yes, it is. So we pick up a win in our first game in the friendly as Cliffy makes his debut, scores on his debut to get the Phoenix the win. Anyway, guys, I am going to wrap this up here. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and you are going to enjoy this series. Remember to leave a like and if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. To tune in tomorrow, we'll have NBA 2K15 final game. Um, of the 10 game contract there. Will we have done enough to warrant ourselves a long-term deal with the Minnesota Timberwolves? You will have to tune in and find out.